Welcome back. Um, so this game was was counting down, and I was like, all right, well, the Blues have this. I put on a Blues jersey. Awkward. All right, so I'm not wearing it now. Francois versus Bennington in this one. Uh, Francois was tested first shift. Uh, Foodie then had a turnover chance. That's how. Uh, no sustained pressure in the first four minutes for either teams. Uh, both teams turning it over, sloppy game at that stage. Nobody really able to set things up. So either it's really strong defense or it's poor offense. You guys can make up your mind on that one. Uh, Levo has a chance that saved the Avs rush. Pareko has a net feed. That won't go. Tarasenko, net drive is held. And the Blues end up getting a power play. Uh, Tarasenko has a shot that's held. There's a delayed game call, so it becomes a 5-on-3 for 33 seconds. Uh, and it was a delay of game. It actually didn't completely leave the ice surface, but it hit the camera. The camera's above the glass, so that is a delay of game, just in case anybody's wondering, why was that a delay of game? So, uh, Kairou has a shot that's blocked. There's a shorthanded rush by Makar that saved on a two-on-one. Uh, Makar throws a hit on defense right after that. So the Blues rush the other way, and Makar is out there and playing the defensive side too. I've seen the, the criticism that Makar doesn't play defense, he does, though. He does. He, he plays a 200-foot game. He's just excellent at both ends of the ice. Uh, so the shots are 5-3 to three for the Blues with eight and a half minutes left. The Blues have a 3-on-2 that's defended. Uh, Thomas to Cairo, near miss at the net there. Uh, Thomas then ends up going to the box. So he takes a penalty in the offensive zone. You don't want to see those. Confer has a shot that's saved. The Blues cleared out. Taves has a blast that deflects wide. That power play is killed off. They are, of course, missing some pretty big guns on that power play, so it's understandable that the Colorado power play is kind of sort of uh, struggling right now. So Foodie's denied. Bennington off to a pretty good start. O'Reilly can't bury one in close. Shen's denied with a minute and 30 seconds left. And then Johnson. He couldn't bury one as the abs press in the final minute. So it is scoreless after one. Uh, the play is kind of back and forth. Like I said, it was scrambly to start. We go to the second period. Early jump for the Blues in this period. Pareko has a shot held. Tarasenko with a wraparound. That saved. The Avs clear it out. Uh, Pitlick then has a shot that saved as it's all blues early in that period. The Avs would get some zone time. Press a bit at four minutes. Ranton then has a chance to deflect out. Thomas had a shot blocked then as the Avs are pressing. Uh, an icing uh, is committed by the Avs. They're really tired. They've been on the ice for quite a while. Falk has a blast that saved. The Avs ice it again. So now you're getting to a period where these guys have been on the ice for a while. The next icing gets waved off, which is good because they've been on the ice for about three minutes. And so as soon as that one's waved off, these guys are booking it off. I think it was Makar that was very quick to get right out of there. So, um, yeah, that was a three-minute uh, shift for a lot of the guys on the ice. Then the Avs get a power play. That was drawn by Lekkonen, who was in his return today. I thought he looked good. Uh, Makar has a blast kick to side O'Connor. Uh, would exit. He would return, though. A shorthanded rush chance by Shen is saved. That power play's killed off just the one shot for Colorado on that. Newhook has a deflected shot that's held, but then on a two-on-one, Ranton and Wires won. Uh, he scores from Newhook and Hunt at 10.58. It's right around where O'Connor returns. The Blues, they press for an answer. Gerard then had a net feed that's blocked. Foodie, rush chance is defended. So now both Foodie brothers in the NHL, and I think playing well, uh, but the foodie that plays for the Avs yet to get on the score sheet this year. Uh, Krug has a shot that's held. Like, I don't think he even has an assist. I know Liam Foodie at least has a few assists for Columbus. The Avs press with four and a half minutes left, but they're kept to the outside. Hunt hits the outside of the net. So Brad Hunt, useful as a call-up. And, I mean, we saw him in, I think it's 50 games with Vancouver last year. Useful uh, depth defenseman there. Uh, next shot for Hunt was saved. Cairo is robbed with two and a half minutes left. The Avs clear it out. The Avs press again. Bennington holds. But after two periods, it is surprisingly a score of 1-0 in favor of Colorado. And I say that because we talk a lot about all the players that are missing, right? Third period, Barbashev has a rush chance. That's held. Tarasenko defends a Ranton and rush chance. Achari has a shot that deflects out. Uh, the Avs are shot blocking. And Franco's very good in this game to that stage. Uh, Falk has a shot that hits Eric Johnson. That looked kind of painful, so he would exit just to get checked out. Uh, Hunt has a screenshot that's held. The Blues press at six minutes. Heavy pressure by the Blues at seven minutes. They're all around the net. That puck seemed to sit out in front of that Avs net for a while, and nobody could bury it. The Avs did finally clear it out. Uh, the Blues, though, would draw a power play, and it's a four-minute penalty to Makar. So that's that's a double whammy for Colorado. One, it's a four-minute penalty, and two, it's on Makar, one of your better players. 
Uh, Tarasenko would score nine seconds into that first power play from O'Reilly and Thomas at 8 one uh, Top corner, the first power play goal for Vlad Tarasenko this year. And so, yeah, now they get to start the second power play. The second power play was nowhere near as good. There's a shorthanded rush by Cogliano that saved, and the Avs killed that off. I, I think there might have been one shot during that penalty, uh, but it was weird because the first one clicks at nine seconds, and then the other one two minutes, and just nothing's there. Uh, Shen's denied twice as the Blues look for the lead. The Avs press. Makar was denied with eight and a half minutes left. The shots are nine to six in favor of the Blues with five and a half minutes left in the period. And it kind of felt like, yeah, St. Louis is probably going to win this. Uh, near miss for Levo on a turnover. Barbashev and Saad both nearly put St. Louis ahead. Uh, and they had the momentum. Krug has a blast deflect wide. Uh, the Avs are really hanging on looking for a point at this stage of the game. At least that's how it looked to me. But with 2.42 left, the Avs get a power play. So this is their chance, right? Well, uh, Makar is a shot that's blocked. There was a shorthanded break for Saad and he scores. So turnover, Brandon Saad at 18.24. Former member of the Colorado Avalanche makes it 2-1 in favor of the Blues. So the Avs call a timeout. They'd also pull the goaltender to discuss some things. Makar is a shot that's blocked. The Blues finish the kill. So now it's a 6-on-5. The puck's out around the neutral zone. No big deal, right? Well, the puck gets near the net, but it's not like... And then they did. Uh, so as I'm putting on a Blues jersey, getting ready to, to review a Blues victory in regulation over Colorado, uh, Rantanen says not so fast. And he scores from Comfer and Taves at 19.52, his second goal of the game. So for the Colorado Avalanche, a team that is without a lot of their top guns. Rantanen's still here. He's playing center on the top line, and he's looking pretty good. And if you watch the game and, and watch him on the ice, he's clearly leading out there. So when your captain's gone and your assistant captain's gone, yeah, Rantanen right now is basically by default the captain. Uh, so he buries that one at the side of the net to tie it at 19.52 from Comfer and Taves. Uh, it was reviewed just in case of, I think they were looking at goalie interference, but it's it's a good goal. So uh, the review is not really all that necessary as it was clearly a good goal. The puck's in, the net didn't come off, all that other fun stuff. So we go to an unlikely overtime. Me still wearing the Blues jersey just in case, you know, not wanting to, to switch out and then have to switch back. Because I knew I was wearing a reverse retro because both teams did. And then the Avs controlled early, and the Blues never touched the puck. Uh, on a rebound, uh, Ranton and Barry's one from Makar and Nichushkin at 29 seconds for his fifth career hat trick. So Ranton and now up to 19 goals. Sort of that forgotten weapon for an Avs team that, yeah, they look a lot like the Eagles, but they also won in overtime. So they stopped their losing streak at four. They go to 14, 10, and two with the victory. St. Louis 12, 15, and one. And this is one that absolutely got away from them. So for the Blues, either this is one of those ones you'll look back on and say that's where it broke us, or if you're a Blues fan, you can look back and say, you know, that was when we really started that turnaround because that one got away from us, and then after that, the team got better. So the shots in this one, 10-9 Colorado in the first, 11-8 St. Louis in the second, 12-11 St. Louis in the third in the overtime. Two shots, both by Colorado, including the one that matters. Final shots, 32-31 to for St. Louis. Power plays. Colorado 0 for 3, understandable their power play, struggling without stars. Uh, a lot of their stars, there's some of them that are back in the lineup. St. Louis uh, 1 for 4, and for Colorado, uh, Rodriguez should be should be back relatively soon. There's a couple others that are probably on their way back within the next week. It's going to get better, but Landeskog, McKinnon are still a ways out. On the St. Louis front, they were 1 for 4 on the power play. The hits were 26 to 21 St. Louis, Francois. Very good game for him. 30 saves on 32 shots. Might have been a, his best game this season. And for Bennington, very good game for him as well. 28 saves on 31 shots. It's painful to, to allow a goal in the last 10 seconds and then in the first 30 seconds of overtime. So outside of those uh, 37 seconds where Colorado scores twice, St. Louis played a pretty good game. There were points in this game where it was kind of slow. There wasn't a lot going on. But exciting finish. Unless, unless you're a Blues fan, in which case you're probably not very happy with how it finished. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. I think for the Avs, this is how they have to play. They have to play more of a defensive style while their stars are out. Uh, I thought it worked well enough for them against the Rangers, and now it works well enough for them against St. Louis. It won't be the prettiest of hockey, but it does give them a chance to win. 
and today they do get that win. So let me know your thoughts. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through you just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.